to, to Dr. Brzezinski. Uh, I can't say enough about uh, his contribution to our country. Uh, he, here's somebody who helped to shape uh, Camp David uh, and bring about a, a lasting peace uh, between Israel and some of its neighbors. Uh, somebody who uh, has over decades trained uh, some of the most prominent foreign policy specialists, uh, not just in the Democratic Party, but uh, has trained a number uh, who ended up in the Republican Party as well. Uh, he is one of our most outstanding scholars, uh, one of our most outstanding thinkers. Uh, he has proven to be an outstanding friend uh, and somebody who I've learned an immense amount from. Uh, and for him to support me in this campaign and then uh, be willing to come out uh, here to Iowa is a testimony to his generosity. So if everybody could please give Dr. Brzezinski another round of applause. We know of their deep belief in God, and we are confident that their struggle will succeed. You know, that land over there is yours. You'll go back to it one day because your fight will prevail, and you'll have your homes and your mosques back again because your cause is right and God is on your side. As for the insurgents and their leaders like Osama bin Laden and the Taliban. In a 180, in a January 1998. To be, to be fair, we had helped to create the problem we're now fighting. How? Because when the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan, we had this brilliant idea that we were going to come to Pakistan and create a force of Mujahideen, equip them with Stinger missiles and everything else to go after the Soviets inside Afghanistan. In Washington, national security adviser Zbigniew Brzezinski was convinced the left-wing regime in Afghanistan was a major threat. Yeah, and that will deal first with Iran, then with Afghanistan and the regional implications. Brzezinski told President Carter that Moscow might use the Afghan crisis to move south and seize the oil of the Persian Gulf. Well, I have essentially four items I'd like to do. Wenn man sich die südlichen Grenzziehungen Eurasiens ansieht, von Nordkorea bis ins chinesische Meer, Indien und China, Afghanistan und Pakistan, Iran, Irak, Syrien, von Suez bis Ägypten und dann von Niger bis Mali, wir sind einem ganzen Gürtel potenziell explosiver Umstände ausgesetzt. Of potentially explosive circumstances.